Hi, this is the completed unit. Uh, storage tank, little sealed lead, added, lead acid battery that I had laying around. This is the pump and the switch assembly. Uh, the vacuum, actual vacuum chamber here. Little valve to let the, uh, the vacuum into the chamber. Another valve to let every to let pressure out. And a couple of terminal blocks to hook up. Here I've got a couple of Christmas tree lights and a switch to turn the altimeter on and off. So this switch is closed. This valve is closed. This is which what I want. So now we'll pump up or actually evacuate the air out of the storage chamber a little bit. Oh, and I forgot to turn the altimeter on, so I'll do that right now. I've actually got two altimeters in here. I've got a PML co-pilot and I also have a little Pico P1. So this is charged up. I did give it a little bit of a charge before I started the, uh, the video. And I hear the altimeter beeping out my three beeps so I know it's all armed and set to go. So I'll open this up and we'll start putting a vacuum in there which is going to indicate the rocket going up. And when the two become equalized, this drogue light here, the upper one, should go off once the two are equalized. And it did. Now I'm going to open up this valve. We'll let the pressure back in. We'll show it descending. And uh, I think I've got it set for a thousand feet. Once it simulates a thousand feet, the main light should go off. And you may hear this hissing a little bit as the air uh, going in. And there's the light for the main charge going off. So what I've done is to fully test the uh, barometric sensor. I know that everything is working at this point. And let's just see what it says for uh, indicated altitude here. See if I got this right. All right, I show seventeen thousand three hundred and ninety five feet. So the unit. Um, it has, um, I mean, it, it's not reading out to 50,000 feet or anything, but most of my flights aren't that high. Uh, so I know the altimeter is all fine and dandy up to 17,000 feet. I'm going to turn the PML unit off, and we'll take a look at the Pico here and just see what that read. Now, this is just a peak recording altimeter, and in order to get my readout, you turn it off, and you turn it back on, and then it just gives you your, your flashing flash out. So let's see what this one says. Turn it off. Turn it back on. One. Yeah, I missed some of those. Turn it back off and turn it back on. All right.
right, and this one appears to read 17,037. So I'm getting around 300 feet difference uh, between the two, and that's that's probably within the um, degree of accuracy that they normally state on them. And and that's about it. It's just a it's just a handy little device. Uh, like I said, it's portable. I can take it to the field. Um, I borrowed it out to a few guys that don't have um, any sort of a chamber at all. And they just love it. Take it home and put in their LTM meters and away they go. So that's it.